Hello and welcome my friends to a new lesson with Control A. In the last lesson we have studied what is UDT and how to create it. In this lesson we will know how to use UDT with data blocks, functions, function blocks and how to create global UDT. So let's open TIA portal. This is our project. The last time we have created UDT from here, PLC data type, it was very simple. Just we created motor UDT. Inside this motor UDT, we have a lot of variables, a group of variables. So the state, is it running, ready, faulted? The command start, stop, reset, temperature, actual speed, maximum speed, set speed, and output. And we, inside, we created a data block, motors data block. It's very simple to create a new variable. So let's assume that we have a mixer, motor, mixer1 motor. The type will be, you can just search here, scroll down at the bottom, UDT motor. So we have mixer1 and mixer2 UDT motor. Now how can I access this data? I have mixer1 and mixer2. It's very simple to access this data. I can access this data. So let's assume. We have two functions. Motor control. And we have another option. We'll talk about it later. So this function will control the first mixer. I have a group of inputs, start, stop, reset, temperature, and max speed, set speed, actual speed, and the outputs. So there is two options. Here I can write motors, mixer1, the command start. The second one, the same, but you should be careful to choose the right one. Mixer 1, stop. Another option I can use, like here I can choose load. So if you choose this option, now it's very simple. Just open Mixer 1. So this is the state. I need the reset, I just click here and put it here. It's very simple. So the command, sorry, this will be the command reset. So drag and drop. The temperature, this is the temperature. Max speed, this is maximum speed. Set speed. The output. Faulted. It's a state. Instead of these three, I can have only one variable. The type will be structure. So this is the first option, actual speed. Okay. So if we open this function, we have a group of inputs, outputs, and input output, and the other variables. If we need to update anything in this data, like for example, we need to add the alarm code. Let's add alarm code to this function. So it will be alarm code. Word. Now I should update this. 
update look call and I need again to update here to add the variable let's know what is the best practice I don't recommend this option there is a better solution which we use it in this function inside this function I have created a variable let's open it so we only have input output variable the type will be the same as your UDT so UDT motor inside this variable I have all the variables you need and this one will be like here for mixer 2 motors instead mixer 2 only this only one variable only one parameter while here if you have around 20 parameters you should write all of them so I recommend I recommend this way because even if you update the UDT like here we should add alarm code will be a word and we should update the data blocks date interface now here I just updated here it's only one time and it will be updated automatically but if you have this option you should manually add the code here like I should do it for mixer one it will be motors mixer one alarm code if you have 20 motors 20 mixers you should do it manually so this is best option motors mixer 2 motors let's open ah uh, okay this is the problem which is you need here to after you update by compile motors Excel. okay so that's it okay so now we know how to use this data block this sorry data type I have another PLC in the same project and I want to share the same UDT the same data type or I have an HMI SCADA system and I want to access this data type right now this data type is accessed by this PLC only so if you have another PLC another HMI SCADA system you cannot access this data block uh, sorry this UDT so to, to access this data there is two options if I want to access this data inside this project I can here just libraries you have two options we have project library and you have a global one so if you need to access this data inside this uh, this project it's very simple I can add a new type or you can just click here and put it in this library name it like motor UDT okay so we have a global data type it will be accessed by all the uh, devices in this project 
if you need to access like or to use this data type or to share it with uh, your friends or with your team you can just create a global library and then add the same data type to this library and share it with your friends and you can use it for your next projects see you in the next lesson goodbye